who are some of your biggest influences on your offensive philosophy? Because you've been coached by some offensive. I mean, you've you've been underneath some offensive minded guys, Steve Spurrier, Martin Schottenham, Martin Schottenhammer. So who how do you blend those styles and come up with your own? You know, it's really amazing. I have I've, I've had been very fortunate to be around some guys who really understand uh, offensive football at a high level. Uh, probably the guy that had the biggest influence on me is Steve Mariucci. Okay. I was his coordinator at Cal Berkeley, and obviously he was one of the offensive wizards at one time. He comes out of the Green Bay system um, for me to look across the field and see all the coaches that, that come underneath that tree. You know, mm-hmm. you, you start to see things that you like. You never try to mimic anybody because you're not them. You know, you take bits and pieces of all those things, and it becomes who you are. Mm-hmm. And so I've been able to put together an offensive system that I think fits my personality. And um, I like what we do because we try to showcase the players' talents and abilities. It's truly about the players. It's not about me. It's not about Hugh Jackson's system. It's about what our players can do. So where where does that come in? Like, so how far do you take what you've what you've processed and you've gained, and now where their style of play is nowadays in college, where everybody wants to go spread? How do you balance that with you being from the '80s and '90s era, seeing power football be successful, and now in the late 2000s to where now it's an open market? And how do you blend that together as well? I think that's the beautiful part about this because at the end of the day, it's still the same, right? You got to have one more point than the other team, <laughs> <laughs> and nobody, great. nobody cares how you get it. You just know, they it. just want that. They want it, you know, yeah. and I and I do get the players, the young players are really enthused with having four wide receivers in the game, three wide receivers. And we'll do that, too. But at some point in time, you got to line up, and put your hand in the dirt and just knock the crap out of the other team. And so um, at Grambling, that's what they used to do. You know, as they line up and beat you up and throw it over your head and do those things. And we want to bring a little bit of that back here. 